What is up, everyone? I'm Igor. Welcome to my workshop. Today, I'll demonstrate how to replace the Z-axis couplers on Artillery Sidewinder X1 3D printer while making a few small modifications to the overall Z-axis setup. I'll also show a simple trick to level the X-axis assembly. Uh, so let's get started, shall we? Before I begin, let me give you a word of warning. Your mileage may vary. Uh, you may or may not see a significant improvement in print quality. Uh, in any case, what I'm gonna do here is non-destructive and can be reverted very easily. Also, the leveling of the x-axis is something you'll be doing to your printer once in a while anyway, so I hope this is not gonna be a total waste of your time. I'll get back to this topic in the end of the video. Uh, so now let me show you how to replace the couplers and adjust the x-axis, and I promise it's going to be real easy to do. This is the stock setup with the top bearings and the belt in place. Notice the incorrectly installed couplers. They are locked and don't allow for much movement. This seems to be a common assembly issue on V4s. The couplers should have some play. Before you start tinkering with your Z-axis, make sure to get yourself two blocks like this. I'll put a link to this model in the description. These are meant for CR10, but they work here as well. Put the blocks under the X-axis and rotate the motors so the axis rests on the blocks. Now you can start unscrewing the grub screws. Once the four screws on the couplers are undone, unscrew the grub screws on the Z-rollers and uh, unscrew the four screws that hold the top bearings in place. Then push out those bearings. Now you can simply twist the lead screws counterclockwise and take them out. Now, unscrew the remaining four grub screws and remove the old couplers. Mine are quite stubborn, so I had to use some force to remove them. Now let's install the new couplers. As you can see, they have slots and screws which tighten them instead of grub screws. Put them onto the motor shafts and tighten. Now you can install back the lead screws. Just lower them into the nuts and they should almost glide back by themselves. Carefully tighten the remaining screws on the couplers. Notice that these couplers aren't rigid, and they allow the lead screws to wobble. And that's exactly what we need. Now let's make sure that the x-axis is parallel to the frame. You still have the leveling blocks under it, and now the motors can be rotated independently. 
carefully rotate the motor shafts by hand to ensure both blocks fit the same way under the x-axis rail. It's almost like leveling the bed. Rotate the axis until you feel the blocks fit and feel the same on both sides. While you're at it, it's a good idea to lubricate the lead screws. Some people recommend using Teflon grease, I don't have it, all I have is this, so I'm gonna use a small piece of filament to put some grease on the screws. Don't put too much, a little goes a long way here. Now use your printer controls to raise the x-axis. Add a little bit more grease and bring the axis back. You can just hone the z-axis. Repeat this process a few times, not adding any more grease. Wipe off the excess and there you have it. This whole thing took me about 15 minutes while filming it. So normally it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes if you don't have to worry about getting into the camera and obscuring the details. And that is all for today. While I must say this modification didn't improve things drastically, there is definitely some improvement. At this point, I believe I've exhausted all mechanical options. Uh, everything is as true, square, and tight and calibrated as it can be. One last modification I'm still planning to make is to add a gantry stabilizer. The build volume is large, uh, the gantry is tall, there is some significant weight on top of it, and the, the wobble is quite noticeable, and I'm pretty sure it can be reduced. Other than that, I think I've eliminated all possible mechanical issues of uneven layers. Uh, and at this point, I'm sort of at peace with the print quality. I'm not quite happy, but mm, I don't plan on doing much else. When and if I decide to take a next step, um, I'll probably consider replacing the extruder. Uh, Hemera is all the hype these days. I don't know, I may go for it. And maybe... I don't know, replace the control board, since someone mentioned in the comments to one of the previous videos that the stock board is quite bad. Uh, let me know in the comments if you made these um, uh, modifications to the, um, uh, the Z-axis couplers and uh, if they worked for you. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and you've learned something from it. If so, then please click that like button, feel free to share this video, consider subscribing to my channel, and as always, your comments are very welcome. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, and don't forget to have fun. Bye!